my internet. So this is the beginning of a project that we're doing in our front yard. We've got some fruit trees in the front yard and we did start a pollinator bed a while ago over here. Uh, those white tubs are sweet potatoes growing. But we have a lot of grass. And you can see I'm standing on grass. All this is grass, grass, grass. Ooh, a pawpaw tree. That's pretty cool. We do have that. With a couple of little pawpaws growing. It's one of the pawpaws right here. But what we'd like to do is get more fruit trees. And this whole front of our yard. We want to have this all evergreens and evergreen hedge to block off the street and our Nazi loving neighbor across right through there. Right now we can't see them, but that's because it's summer. When winter hits, everything except for this one small evergreen will disappear and we'll get a clear shot of his house back here, which um, is not exactly aligned with our values. So. We are planning to create a hedgerow back there. And here's Mike already beginning. We've marked off contours on our yard. Sorry for my zigzagging. And we're beginning to dig our very first swale trench that we've ever dug in our life. And the goal is going to be to dig a swale going across here, connect it, excuse me, with water from the roof. And we'll start to fill that swale and then have it come down and also measured contour down here and what you see as we come in closer is there's some bricks laying along the ground and these are all measurements of contour on our front so we'll dig a second swale down here i'll take you along as the project continues all right, the trench is now dug. As you can see, whoa, all the way up to here. And this again is on contour. So on contour meaning it's following the different heights of the land. So the different elevations. So what's really important when you're doing trenches or swales on contour is you need to make sure that it's really level. So what Mike's doing right now is chipping it out, making it a little bigger. We're shooting for about 18 inches wide and one foot deep. And over here we've got the level. And he's using the level on this ground to make it as huh, level as possible. So here we go. He's made it a little more level and then checking it again. And we'll do that through the entire trench for this step.